Hi everyone, this is Srikanth. Here's Daniel, my trainer. Today we're going to do conventional deadlifts. The barbell deadlift is known as the king of all exercises because it's the maximum force the human body can produce. This is the heaviest of all lifts. For any person, the heaviest lift you can do is the deadlift. Step up, feet in jump stance, about one inch away. Take your grip as tight as you can to the leg. Pull, slide the bar off the legs. Well, the deadlift is, because it's the heaviest lift, it's also the maximal neurological magnitude that the body can develop. So everything else is basically downstream of the deadlift. Every other athletic movement is based off the maximal force that can be produced by the body, which is the deadlift. I mean, it, uh, deadlift is gonna work the whole body. I mean, the arms obviously are simply holding the bar. So it also works your grip strength because this is the maximal weight you can do on any exercise. Well, for, for athletes, you have uh, sort of different abilities or different attributes that you need to develop. Strength is the most fundamental ability of all because it is the ability of the body to produce external force. I don't focus on the wrist specifically that much because when they're doing really heavy deadlifting, heavy bench pressing, heavy standing pressing, and then especially heavy uh, clean and jerk and snatch exercises, the wrist is the final joint that the power or the force crosses. And again, on the court, when they hit a shot, they don't do it only with the wrist, right? They're, it actually is beginning from their foot, and it ends with maybe a small wrist movement, is what you put your eyes onto, but actually the entire body's involved. So in training, we have to train with that in mind. 